cake, 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 cake. Whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality neurocommentary, we got my man Colton, aka Pizza Parker, talk to the people. It's your boy, um, at underscore the Colton Show on mm. Twitter. Okay. The Colton Show on uh, every other social media, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, it's your boy, Cake Boss, also the mm. chocolate magician. Mm. Uh, and that's going to uh, just be my name for this episode. <laughs> the only one. It's the only one that matters. Everything Fact. is cake. <laughs> They're going to learn. They're going to learn. Um, uh, you know, and of course, it's your boy, Dennis, a.k.a. Old Dirty Dennis, a.k.a. Shaking Cake Ricky Bobby, a.k.a. The Undercaker. <laughs> Bake in peace. Back to the mighty human, you know what I mean? We took a little break, but we back at it. What's going on? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm I'm uh I'm pretty good, man. Everything is cake, first everything, of all. Everything is cake. Second of all, knows. uh my birthday just passed. You know, I have yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Big, uh, big shout out to my man. I'm a thank you, brother. I'm a 30-year-old cake now. Um <laughs> 30 Bill cakes around it. the world. You know it's been mean? pretty, it's been like, uh, you know, pretty good vibes. I've been chilling a lot. I've been, uh, you know, doing a lot of soul searching. Mm, okay. okay. My energies and stuff. And now I'm back as Cake Boss, the, uh, the chocolate magician. Now I do Ooh. magic. It's all <laughs> cake based. All okay. cake based. Cake Boss, unlike the show. Always Ooh. remember that. <laughs> so happy birthday to everybody out there, man. You know what I mean? Happy birthday to everybody. Um, how, how you feeling, feeling, bro? How you feeling, brother? Me, I'm just, yo, you know me. Like uh, I, I'm always find something to do. I'm gonna keep myself busy. I'm I'm always I'm always have some new random hobby that I'm doing. Mm, so, um, uh, uh, what's up? What's up? What's people, up? Someone just asked me a question in the background, even though okay. I'm myself. Uh, what was that? <laughs> well, what about those new prints that he did? Can you explain? Can you explain about that? Somebody just asked me that question. Oh, see, so I was gonna get into that in another episode, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off now. You but know, just like, give a little, pre- a not, little slight not, little preview. Like, a little preview. All right. So you know, the world's been crazy, and uh, it was just it was just a lot. You know, like everybody kind of deals with it in their own way, and at least for me, I deal with it with like art. So you know, everything with everything from like the cops to. Brianna Taylor, like everything, like I just put it on the canvas, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was just heavy. It was just, I just had to kind of get it off my chest. So, you know, I kind of put together like a little four part mini series and, you know, people liked it. It was beautiful, man. I, I really enjoyed like all the art from the, uh, from the burning, uh, hot car, you know, you know, yeah, Colton, Colton love him some chaos. The night <laughs> love him some chaos. <laughs> The night deviant was right there when that when that when he that, probably did uh, it. He Patty probably did it. Was on fire, bro. Yeah, he did it. Uh, also, all the beautiful women that like lost yeah, their man. lives, like saying yeah, their names. You feel me? Like, um, that was another great great picture. It's just, I feel like, um, what's up? It's just, it's just so hard being like a black person in America, and like, it's also hard being like most people in America. It is. It's just, you know, they put us on some bottom barrel shit, like, a lot of the time, and, like, we get tired of it, and it just gets sick. That's a fact. But, like, um... And that's what kind of sparked it off, you know what I mean? But I also appreciate this, and this is gonna just be my final point to this so we can move on. Um, Uh I do appreciate people like you, Dennis, and, like, I I, I will include myself. I want to be humble, but hello, I don't care. Uh... (laughs) You don't, gotta be, hum- you, don't gotta, like you don't gotta be that. humble on your own podcast. There are people like us that like we will take our time to process what's going on and use it in a creative outlet because again, there's a lot of different roles in whatever black liberation is actually supposed to look like. And Thanks. you know, we need soldiers, we need uh niggas in offices, we need artists, we need uh podcasts, like yeah. spaces I mean, every, for us. You get what every, I'm saying? So every everybody has a role. So I would just say on behalf of me and the random person in the background that's not here <laughs> and everybody that like just loves your art, 
thank you for putting a piece of work out that expresses not only yourself, but what everyone else is thinking. I appreciate that, good brother. I appreciate that. All right, Thank let's you. start the fucking show. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. This. Nah, yeah, I like switch, it. I like switch, it. I'm hey, we... I, lo- I love you, brother. You <laughs> Thank you, man. I love you too. Um. All right. So yeah, that the, that that definitely threw me off. All right. So sorry, man. Let's get let's get to the show. Let's get to the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Speaking of shows, new shows, Doom Patrol. Have you seen season two? I, I haven't have started seen it. Season two. But one thing I will say is I've been watching a lot of HBO Max. And they mm. want me to watch that shit so bad. And I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I really like Doom Patrol, so mm. I will catch up. I will catch up. But um, yeah, yeah like I'll, you I'll, can talk I'll, about it. Oh yeah, well, like, I I'll, can also talk about it. Um, one yeah, thing I like we can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One thing I like about Doom Patrol is a nigga that has watched a few episodes but haven't watched as much. Uh-huh. I feel like the character development makes sense because of how chaotic the show actually is. Facts. So, you know, like, we usually watch superhero shows, and it's like, let's be real. Superhero movies and TV shows is shit we've seen already. It's a reboot. Like, we read the comics. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's a reboot in, a diff- in, like, in, like, the 2020 reboot way, which it might be worse. You get what I'm saying? So, you, as a comic book or, like, superhero fan, you realize that, like, oh, my expectations are probably sky high. And Facts. you probably can't do that. But I feel like with Doom Patrol, it's one of those underlying type of shows. And we're going to talk about other shows that I feel like are underlying soon. But um, Uh that I don't think it's ridiculous. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think the character development is amazing. I think these are technically misfits. Even, and I think beautifully, Mm -hmm. Cyborg being a black black cyborg... (laughs) He is an out. He's an outlier. Yeah, he's a misfit. So it makes so much sense to put them all together. Like it's a really good show, man. Comedy yeah, wise, yeah, it's 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 a great, why it gives. It's a balance. It's a balance. They found a way to a, balance as all a, of it. As a superhero show that's like very big on like we're gonna throw this crazy comedy in your face. Um, the feelings are really there, and I feel like I appreciate shows like that. No, it's a great show. Like, you can talk about it. Like, like, like I said, like they found a way to really balance, uh, you know, like a, a ton of topics. Like even, uh, uh, what is that guy's name? Um, the robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what is it? Brandon the, the, Fraser. Yeah, yeah, Brandon. Like he does a great job for someone that can't show He's emotion. So good. He's like, so you, good at his job, you, and that's yeah, why I like, think people shit on him unrealistically. I hate how niggas shit on Brendan Fraser, bro. Yeah, like, like he can't he, give us the fucking mummy. <laughs> like he does, he does a fantastic job. Like all of them, like all, all them together. Do a great like, job, bro. Honestly, remember like, when uh, everyone was shitting on how Cyborg looked, and then it yeah. ended up being like, I fuck with this Cyborg like a lot. Yeah. No, all together, I think it's a great show. I didn't want to. St- I was going to start it before we did the podcast, but I don't want to rush it because I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna take my time with season two. So I haven't actually started it yet, but I'm gonna start it, and I know I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it. I just didn't want to rush through it, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna um, <clears throat> catch up where I'm caught up after this. So we're gonna uh, have like a full. We gotta do DC and Marvel part two. Yes, definitely. But we also gotta there's, do the Dark Rona version. There's, that, you know. <laughs> there, there's a lot to cover. A um, lot. Um, Umbrella Academy season two. I am looking okay, forward to that. Okay, aka, aka, uh, Child Abuse Academy. <laughs> uh, let's let's talk about Umbrella okay. Academy. Let okay, me okay, D Dog. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, D Dog. Uh, <laughs> shout out my man's that was the monkey, but fuck him also because, <laughs> like, bro, you was a monkey that nigga did science experiments on, and you going. Like nigga, you got abused too. That's animal cruelty, dog. And you, he caught you know, it. He caught it from two different shits. ways. And he just with the shits. Also, shorty, yes, I get it. Shorty's powers are fucking crazy. But that don't mean you gotta make her do mad drugs when she mad young and shit on her about how whack she is. Like she's not whack, nigga. You know it. She's like um, the illest again, one. Everybody else got their own little problems and shit going on. But, like, that that shit is, like, technically, that show is 
just child abuse, <laughs> but superhero child abuse. <laughs> and I don't like child abuse, but I like the show. <laughs> That's what so I will say. You, you have conflict. Yeah. And also, Mary J. Blige, you're doing an amazing job, sweetie. Yeah, I love her. Well, amazing I mean, job. I, I love Mary. I, like, I actually like that show a lot. Like, Umbrella Academy is pretty no, good. No, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really looking forward to season two. Like, it's now about to kids, start. I'm about to be, it's about to be lit. Yeah, it's about to start soon. Now, my next favorite show, which I was a little disappointed that it's still so far away, is The yeah. Boys season two. But I that's mean, what another show that I was going to say, an underlying superhero movie that, an underlying superhero series that, like, people like a lot. But I don't think they understand the realism that's it's, behind it's, that. I, I, the Boys is probably the most realist superhero, like the depiction Bro. of what it would be like in real life. That's Bro. how heroes would be. It wouldn't Bro. be like what we think DC and Marvel is. They would that be corrupt. Meeting, that <laughs> meeting when they were like, "Nigga, I'm not selling enough merchandise." Like, yeah, that's I real. just remember thinking <laughs> in my head, like, "Bro, that if we live in a capital." Yo, bro, I love Batman. Loves I love DC. Love Marvel, but it's not realistic. unrealistic. They wouldn't. Bro. They would. They would not be like that. Very unrealistic. Yeah, yeah. The worst thing y'all have these niggas do, which is actually really bad, but is like get like whole cities and shit killed. Right? <laughs> like niggas might be an alcoholic. A nigga might do a little crack here and there. A nigga <laughs> will be his wife. But, like, they'll never make niggas really cross lines on some shit where it's just, like... Because the thing about Superman that, like, I feel like... Fuck with Superman, but that's, like, kind of unrealistic. Because I feel like if an alien pulled up on this planet, nigga, why would their fucking... Like, that? that's why even with um Umbrella Academy, I feel like it makes sense. Like, their pops was an alien. Right. So, nigga, he don't know what the fuck, like, our fucking That's emotions why. and rules are, bro. That's why yeah. I call it Child Abuse Academy, and it makes sense. Because that nigga don't know that that's child abuse. He thought exactly. he was saving the planet. That's why when I look at, like, Superman, like, why would Superman feel, like, inferior to us that he tried oh, to Oh, no, in? the government said I have to stop? Okay. What? Are you <laughs> like, fucking serious? I have every power ever. I'm not I'm doing what I want. Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, I got that rock, but I'm gonna kill mad of y'all before y'all even get that rock. Facts. Like, so not, many like, of y'all. Like it would it would not be anything like what DC and Marvel. I just don't see. get like why niggas like, um I don't know, man. I fuck with but, Superman, but yeah, yeah the boys. Yeah, yeah. season two um back. is coming back for anyone listening. September fourth on Amazon. I am looking forward to. I'm gonna be honest. I don't trust that uh British nigga, but whatever. Yeah, I don't either. But you know, <laughs> but I also you know, read the comic out. books. So. <clears throat> mm, see, I didn't do that. I skipped. I skipped it. Like if 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 it's something that I I know there's comics on and it's coming out, I'm gonna skip the comics because I don't want to know ahead of time. Like, I just want to be able to take in the show. So, like, I know of the comics, but I just never bothered. Because it was just, like, I'm, I'm going to just wait until it's, like, on video. Um, all right, next up. So, I know this is something a lot of people can relate to, other than just uh, me and you. Because I've noticed it on, like, social media, <laughs> on Twitter. You and I. Yo, and... you said a lot of people could connect to this. And I really feel like you're only speaking to you and I. <laughs> But yeah, continue. No, nah, nah, I feel like a lot of people could connect to this. Like, no, there's a community. Like, yeah, that, no, there there is a community and it's growing. Like, I've seen people that started collecting that have never collected before. Like, they never, never ever. Like, all of a sudden, they have Funko Pops. They have statues. Like, it's like staying inside is forcing people to find new things to and put it's not emotions even only collecting, into. Bro, yo. Let's let's be real. We're trendsetters. We got a lot of people to get switches to get in. Let's go. Listen, like a we lot. Gonna, of yo, we we gonna get into all of this. We gonna get into the influencer. <laughs> like, yo, we gonna we gonna, we gonna yeah, get into like, this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about the quarantine collecting because, like, I, I guess, like, from uh, yeah, yeah, I want you to go first because uh, I feel like compared to the very first episode when we first talk, started talking about collecting. And you had like two or three, and the collection you built up from then till now is like, ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah. literally ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. but I was, I was too, yeah, I, was I just um, first. I decided that 
so I guess we're going to get deep. So uh, my aunt died from COVID and I was kind of going through some shit. And I just yeah. remember like at the time um, I started getting unemployment checks and shit. And then I got my stimulus check. And I just remember being like, I felt like my room was mad plain. Like I was just like, my room's mad plain. Like I need like extra shit in my room to like, like decorate it to like pick up new hobbies and shit. And I was like, yeah. I know that you have a lot of collections of like action figures and shit, like full collections, like figurines, yeah, full we, we, I mean, just, like, we we gonna get this to me in a second, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I just remember like you showing me these shits and me just being like, I have space in my room, like I can <laughs> I can get a collection of something, and I've right. had like two or three Funko Pops before, and I talked about how I like them, and then it was just like. A, a fucking opportunity where I was getting money and I was saving money and I had extra money and I'm just like I think I want to start collecting shit so the first thing I copped was a record player okay and dope I was just like I think I want vinyls so I started getting <laughs> like a bunch of vinyls and then after that I was just like damn I have this Rick and Morty Funko Pop this Rick weaponized Rick Funko Pop uh -huh. uh, Morty holding the power uh, nuts from the first episode. And then I had like a female Titan Funko Pop and a Batman Vegeta. And I was just like, oh, I got four Funko Pops. And all my homies, including uh -huh. you and that now the people, was just like, we have mad at them shits. And I'm just like, <laughs> I have so many characters I like throughout so many things. And Funko Pop is literally the perfect place where it's like, bro, it's not even only fictional characters it's real yeah. people too yeah. so Fun i was just like i can get funko pop is like a a black hole of just a black everything. hole of collection you can, and whatever you like end. i'm pretty sure we have something that you like <laughs> yes and it went from that to and i'm gonna ring off the list looking at my funko pops right yeah, now bring it off tell, tell them what so you got i have the female time annie that's a okay. bigger, the bigger version of the regular Funko Pops. I have Mirio Togata, my son from My Hero Academia, that one million nigga that be fucking phasing through the ground. I have him in his uniform. I have Weaponized Rick. I have Morty. I said that already. I have King Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Nigga, I have yes. Alphonse in the armor. Alphonse Elric. Alchemist. I have Levi, Captain Levi from the, Attack on Titan. The, the GOAT. Character. The GOAT. That's me. Uh, I have Rock <laughs> Lee from Shippuden because Ooh, Rock Lee. Of course. Rock Lee, nigga. Um, I have Vegeta eating noodles. Shout out Tiff Tiff. Shout out Tiff. Big shout, out, big shout out Tiff. Noodles for my birthday. I have Goku hitting the Kamehameha. It came with a shirt. My little brother got that for me for Christmas. Mm. Um I got Sora, nigga, from Kingdom Hearts 3. I wanted it from Kingdom Hearts 2, but I mm. misread it. It's fine. Uh, Sora cool. is still my man's. Um, I got Miles Morales, of course. The, yo, the young goat. Into the Spider-Verse, of course. And then I got the youngest black queen genius slash genius probably in Marvel Universe, Shuri. Mm, of course, of course. And then, uh, yeah, I got more on the way. I got a biggie. As the baby on the Ready to Die album. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. Uh, I, I'm waiting for that Samurai Jack and Aku to restock. Okay. I need that. I need yeah. that. Yeah, man. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, a lot of people, I feel like, have started collect. I've seen it. Like, I've seen people, like, start posting collections on, like, Twitter. I'm like, yo, when did you start collecting? Like, when did that happen? And it's like, it's just been popping up. So, like, for me, you already know how I give it up. So You're Funko, insane. hey, I'm, I'm definitely insane because like when, when I was putting this together, I was like, and I had my list. I was like, yo, I really copped a lot since the quarantine started. So for Funko Pops, I got a uh, Mister Rogers. Of that course, was a fire. That, yeah, that was a gift. Shout out to Jelly. Um, I got a uh, Deadpool as Bob Ross. Yo, hold on, before you continue, uh huh. I am not sure. I cannot say this out loud. Okay, but I am not sure if I I think someone bought me the Rock Lee, um Funko Pop. I'm a hundred percent sure somebody bought me that because when I got it, my mom ripped open. My mom is a tr a Trinidadian mother. Okay, she destroyed the box. Most likely sent the mess, threw the message away, <laughs> and 
I got the Rock Lee Funko Pop high as hell and uh, was like, oh shit, I got a Rock Lee Funko Pop. You don't even know who I got it. I swear to you. God, if it was Jelly, I'm sorry, Jelly. I swear <laughs> to God. Or if it was, I don't know, bro. If it was Tana, I'm sorry. No, Tana, Tana, Tana gave me a gift already. If it was Jelly and you got me that, I'm totally sorry. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, nah, um, yeah, so Funko's Deadpool is Bob Ross. Shout out to Tiff. Um, and now we come down to like you know my heart right here is Marvel Legends. So I copped, uh, I've copped a myriad of new Marvel Legends, bro. Like I, got, mm-hmm, I know you. Uh, did, nigga. <laughs> God, we in a Discord together, nigga. <laughs> oh, also. Niggas listening, we got a Discord. Yes, y'all gotta y'all gotta jump on that. I'm gonna post the link on the bottom of this episode. So if you have Discord, if you don't, jump in, show your collections, just talk nerdy stuff with us, whatever. So, also, um, also, <coughs> motherfuckers on Discord, since this is gonna come out soon, uh, we are about to do the Animal Crossing episode again. Yes. Over. Yes. I'm sorry yes. to the people that was in the episodes before. <laughs> Fucked up. It was all my fault. But um, <laughs> I think I still have the videos of the tours, and I'm going to fix those very soon. But um, okay. yeah, we're going to do an Animal Crossing episode. Everyone who has Animal Crossing is trying to be a part of the set. Hit us up. We can we're only jumping. have six people. Yeah, max. Six people max. So... We're gonna and, uh, and if you're gonna if you're, if you're gonna join it, then you gotta join our Discord. You gotta be a part of our Discord already. Yeah. And honestly, we already have like five people. Yeah. So if you want that final slot, <laughs> we got like five. Of, we got like five people already. So if you get <laughs> that final spot, like, let me know. Word. All right. So let me give let me give you my my, my little collection and I yeah go crazy go crazy. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> all right. All right. Um. So Marvel Legends. I got the Captain Marvel binary form. Boom. Man fire. Uh, I got the Grand Master and Korg. Korg is super fire. Oh, I uh, need the Korg. I got yeah, the Korg is fire. I got a uh, Taskmaster, uh, Black Widow, Black Red Widow Guardian. Taskmaster already? Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, let's see. Who else did I get? Uh, Valkyrie. Shout out to Tana. Of course. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, T'Chaka. Shout out to Jelly. Oh, um, oh, and my two new favorites. They're so fire that I still haven't taken them out the box. I got um, uh, I got the worthy Captain America, like from Endgame. Oh no, I seen those, bro. I yeah, was like, oh, God, continue. It was hard, and I got the. I had to get Iron Man because I mean, if he's gonna retire, I got to get the last final like Endgame Iron Man with like all the the crazy gadgets, all the that crazy he had. tech. Yeah. And that joint is super fire. They're so fired, they're still in the box. Like I can't like I feel like at this point, either Marvel Legends and Hasbro or like SH Figuarts gotta sponsor me. Like I got my collection is too crazy. <laughs> like why are they not sponsoring me? Like soon, they're bugging. Soon, bro. <laughs> they're gonna hear all these episodes and they're gonna be like, all right, we need yeah, to we are. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, he he's definitely wild. Um so on the topic of collecting and comics. This week, San Diego Comic Con goes online. Now, we've talked about Comic Con mad times. Mad times. There's mad people I know that always wanted to go to like either the New York one or the San Diego one. We've talked about it and they're going online because, you know, COVID and everything. So, like, they're doing a full four day online Comic Con. Like, the, the whole shit, everything. They're going crazy. And I am locked in. I'm locked you know in. Mean? I'm going to be there. Like, hopefully, uh, we could find something we can do. I don't know, maybe on Twitter, like live reactions no, to some of the stuff. On Twitter, right? bro. We're going to go on Twitch. I got OBS on deck. I have mm. a screen capture on deck. Nice, so nice, we're nice. Gonna be, it's going to be both of us. I'm going to find a way to have both of us. It's pro- nice. We're probably going to talk through Discord watching the shit. Yeah, we're gonna do something. But yeah, this is this is like epic. Like I've been waiting for San Diego Comic Con forever. And the fact I could do it from my house, like I'm there. I'm all I know, all I know, all I fucking know is <laughs> if they drop any links for any exclusive Funkos, I'm in that bitch immediately. Oh, let me let me put that out there for the people now. They did. 
<laughs> they I did put that. out the they put out the link. I put it in the Discord. Like there's like mad original. Like they got uh, Black Lightning Funko Pop that looks oh, super fuck. fire. I'm about to go right now. <laughs> it looks super fire, and you can only get it from directly from uh, Funko uh, the Funko Pops uh, actual store. They're not releasing it on Walmart or Target or anything. You have to get it from them. And it only comes out the day of Comic Con. So yeah, and I gotta get the Scaramouche nigga from yeah, Jack yeah. Samurai Jack. Yeah, like I am, I'm, I'm on it. So definitely. Um, let me see. So I was looking up some information on Comic Con. I was a little sad that uh, Marvel said that they wouldn't make their presence too big. I get it because you know they have like the D twenty three thing that they usually do for Disney. Whatever, so, fucking Disney. I don't <laughs> care about no damn Disney. Y'all are comics. So they were like, "Yo, we they're, they're still going to do stuff, but they're not. Don't expect them to like nah, release you're being like weirdos. I don't like it. <laughs> they're not releasing no movie stuff. I get the movie stuff because I mean COVID. So ma- most of their stuff probably got pushed back. Shut up and put that shit on so. Plus. <laughs> So a lot of a lot a lot of that stuff got pushed back. So yeah. So um DC, which is which is kind of ill that DC is gonna do that. DC, uh they're gonna be there, but at the same time, they're gonna have their own event next month. We're definitely gonna get into that, and theirs is gonna be online and they're gonna wild out. I have I so much I have so much DC news to cover that I'm not covering it in this episode. That you got DC on. part two. Bro, like there's so the much. Return. There's so much. Like I'm, I'm just gonna skip over that. Y'all just, if y'all listening to this, just know there's a DC episode coming, and I have so much to say. I have a ton of stuff to say on that. But um, since they're doing it online, they decided to, they came up with like a lot of dope like panels that they're gonna cover because it's all gonna be on like YouTube and different channels or whatever. So I picked out some of the ones I thought were kind of fire. Some that I thought you'd probably be into too. They has they have they have one called um, how to write and create a manga. Mm, so you could tune I into that. that. You could tune into that. I think it's like a probably like a thirty to like forty I minute like panel. Here I'm going to watch it. <laughs> that is write notes. Yes, that is going to be mad fire. They have one on conspiracy theories and propaganda. I'm going to also yeah. watch that, <laughs> and I'm going to be in the comments like, "Hey guys, I have a fucking question." <laughs> That is going to be fire. They are doing a 15th anniversary reunion on Constantine with Keanu Reeves. That's which, fucking old yes. and lit. Yeah, yeah. Ke- Honestly, that- I, uh, I believe I should play Constantine since Cake Boss is the fire is magician of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I'm, we're going to start a petition. We're going to get people on board. Um, let's see what else they have. panel, which is about finance for creatives. Like finding grants and uh, you know, just money to fund your projects and you know, all the different things that you want to do. I think that's an ill uh panel to tune in, even if you're not into comics. Panel. Um, they got something for cosplay, you know, uh, over 30 cosplay, you're 30 now, so you can definitely mm. tune into this. <laughs> I <agree>. Uh, <laughs> I that was not, but you're right, <laughs> now it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm um, on it. They also have uh, the first look at the the Hulu slash Marvel Hellstrom series. So we're gonna Ooh, find out. I'm about, excited. We're, we're gonna find out about that. Um, they're gonna give us, I guess, our first look at Bill and Ted's Face the Music, the the third series in the movie. Because you know, I'm coming it. back. <laughs> so we're gonna see about that. Uh, I guess. We're gonna get, we're gonna get the full trailer to the boys season two because you know they only gave us a teaser. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely getting that. And um there's also a new mutants panel. I don't get why, because I feel like it's gonna get rescheduled anyway. Drop the fucking like, movie. I don't care yeah, about like, the fucking panel. Like why is there a panel? Like this movie has been in production for like four years. Like just I've seen four out. trailers for this movie. <laughs> I feel like I could combine the trailers and just make the movie. Like, <laughs> like what's the point? Yo, like, I feel like we should just do that. Like, just take all the trailers and just put it into a movie and be like, here. Like, just put it on YouTube or something. Um, yeah, so, like, uh, panel-wise, they have, like, a lot of dope stuff. Like, even if you're not into comics, like, I feel like at least the finance for creatives, anybody could, like, tune into that. Like, that's that's something that I want to definitely check out. 
I mean, amongst everything else, especially like the creed and writing manga. That's why. Nah, fire. yeah, I need that. That's mad fire. Um, okay, so speaking of panels, if you could create your own panel, what would it be about? Okay, it but would be about uh, why do white people ruin everything? A panel <laughs> by culture. <laughs> <laughs> It would be close all, to that, all, though. It would be all, something about all, like, all of our all of our white listeners. He's joking. Yeah, I'm just joking. But like, I'm not. Like, don't look. Like, you can love Dennis still. You can hate me. I'm the villain of this show. But um, good combat. Honestly, if I could have my own panel on Comic Con, it would literally just be about like um young people uh controlling their own narrative and voice about like uh the black nerd culture just so like people of color nerd culture because i feel like um yeah like when i get like we know that most of um workforces when it comes to these things like a lot of like the uh the white people will get like opportunities and stuff like that so at the same time it's like (laughs) you shouldn't let that kind of discourage you it'd probably be more about like um just self-esteem about like just believing in yourself and like you don't necessarily have to depend on being like other people, like tell your own story and be yourself, like find yourself. It would just honestly just be about like, um, but just to young people and older people, whoever wants to like fucking listen to it. But I I want to more talk to young people about like just finding yourself, figuring out what you like, and then just trying, just putting your best into what you do and realize that like instant being viral means nothing if you don't just work hard and keep going. Facts. This sounds like a super fire TED talk that I would 100% listen to. <laughs> this is literally what this sounds like. <laughs> All right, so if I was going to do a panel, I would definitely do something, I mean, kind of in the same realm, but it would be like the importance of like, you know, just representation in comics, films, TV shows, you know, the effect it has on like, just the youth being able to identify with like heroes that look like them. Because I, I have examples of people that have, like, kids or, like, nephews and nieces. And, like, they were so excited just to have Miles. Because it's, like... Yeah, Miles was crazy for yeah. black kids, bro. Yeah, like, little kids. Like, I'm not even talking about, like, adults. Like, just kids. Even, like, Black like, Panther was crazy for black kids. Like, just yeah. in a whole place of just mad black people. Like, even though, like, you know, we're older, we can see the theatrics and shit. And I feel like yeah, yeah. a lot of times us realizing shit ruins it for other people <laughs> but no nah, i appreciate that because i do feel like you know like th- even if you think of something as simple as like halloween like when you dress up like you're dressing up as a character that's nothing like you granted you you have all right to do that but at the same time to be able to dress someone that I, you can identify with this like, fire it's, it's totally different especially for like shout out to the kid. Schomburg Center nigga word word so yeah minds would definitely be about that and just being able to like have all these different characters and honestly I would find a way to somehow tie all this on how somehow it relates to cake that would be the twist on my mm. panel <laughs> everything's <laughs> like, cake y'all every, cause everything is cake <laughs> That's a good segue into the next one. Yes, yes. All right, so here we go. Speaking of cake, top three things you make in a cake. Give it to me. Okay. One, everything. Two, (laughs) three, three, cake. Everything is fucking cake, nigga. That's my answer. Everything is fucking cake, nigga. Absolutely everything that exists is dead-ass cake. I don't gotta make nothing into cake if it's already cake, man. Think about that. I'll leave you with that one. And now you can answer the you question. Leave, you, yeah, you leave me with that job. I'll take that up. <laughs> All right. So my three. All right. So my first one would be to give to give uh veteran listeners a callback. My first one would be flying gorillas. I would turn flying gorillas into cake. That would be that mad easy for the niggas to that's win. Exactly. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Gotta continue. Yeah, you know what I mean, I would definitely pull that back. So that way, when I say that I choose the flying gorilla, y'all not gonna look at me crazy because I'm gonna have a fork and it's over. Like, 
It don't mm. matter. Like I'm taking the drug. Like if I can't be not a even fine, a fork, turn it up, nigga. Get yeah. it right. <laughs> if I can't be a fine cake gorilla, like I shouldn't even be out here. Like that period. All fact. <laughs> My second answer, I would turn racism into a cake because I could feed mm. the world. <laughs> I could literally eat that could, shit, white people. Like, now I mean, I could literally clear. I could literally end world hunger with racism as cake. That's amazing. All racist, are all racist cake or racism? I would say racism, but we could turn. We could. Nah, I don't want. I don't want to turn them into cakes because then that's kind of like cannibal. Like, and we're not going to eat white people, so like, it's, we're not going to do that. I mean, but, if they cake, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Majin Boo, you got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn niggas into turn niggas into cake, nigga, and just be like, "Ooh, I thought that racism was lit. Now I'm just eating, eating your fucking brain as cake, bitch." Let's see. And my final one. Oh, my final one. I would turn guns into cake. I would 100 percent turn it. You know why? Because now when somebody like has like a a Brooklyn like basement party. And then you see that one person pull out the weapon and everyone's like, yo, he got a gun. Everyone's going to be mad excited. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. They'll be like, yo, he got oh, the cake. Oh, shit, the party just turned up. It's somebody's birthday. <laughs> it's happy birthday. Yo, there you go. Like, literally now, Call of Duty is basically just a military version. You ever seen that show on Netflix called uh, Nailed It? Like, where they make cakes? Yes, and it's, it's yeah, hilarious. It's liter- that is literally what Call of Duty is now. <laughs> Those are my three top three things. Okay, that that's, a okay. that's a good one. <laughs> all right, so um, all right, here's another one. Since we on the cake, we we going down this cake journey. Which hero or villain do you think would make the best cake? Who do you got? Like, who's making a fire cake? Hmm. Fuck, I gotta think about this. You go, you go. All right, so because I gave, I did give this some thought, and I'm gonna pick the the strangest answer, but it makes sense. So my person that would make the most fire cake ever is Janet Van Dyne. She was stuck in the quantum realm. She has all types of wild power. She could literally make cake taste amazing at a subatomic level. Like <laughs> that's true. Think about that. Like, that's a good ima- one. imagine cake so good that it's amazing on like an infinite level of atoms that you can't even see or process with the human eye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My answer is going to be very unorthodox. <laughs> very, very unorthodox. Okay. What you got? I think the person who would be able to make the best cake is Eobard Dawn, the reverse flash. Hear me out. <laughs> okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. If Barry Allen at any point described that he liked cake, this nigga would learn to make <laughs> the best cake ever just to get this nigga mad, son. Like, yo, I know that Eobard Thawn, like, is, like, his fucking level of wanting to piss Barry off, like, if niggas told him, like, yo, you know who hates cake and, like, who hates delicious cake? Like, the world's best cake? Barry Allen. He, this nigga would make his entire life would run to the past, future, meet every baker, and like, will vibrate to the past and future, and meet every <laughs> baker, and like, learn how to make the greatest cake of all time. Just to get Barry tight, nigga. And that's who I think would make the greatest cake of all time. Just because of the determination to get a nigga tight. Yo! Nah, that's mad hell. Just nah, the determination. Of- now I just want a reverse flash cake. Like just a reverse flash yeah. cake <laughs> is the greatest cake of all time. If you're not Barry Allen. If you're Barry Facts. Allen, you're fucking you hate it. you 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 can't stand it. But we're not Barry Allen. So I it's, know that exactly. if I convinced him, like, yo, this nigga Barry hates super delicious cake stuff. <laughs> like <laughs> he really hates them shit. Like when the cake is perfect. He absolutely hates it. And then they all go, that's good information. <laughs> Leave a cake on this nigga doorstep every day. Every day for the rest of his life. A delicious cake. And I would eat it. I would come and go get it. 
and be like, yo, Barry, like, I don't know who leaving me these cakes, but I'm about to eat it, bro. Facts. All right. So if anybody listening has an answer, please hit us on Twitter with your answer. Facts. Like, I'd love to know what your 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 answer for uh, who would make the best cake. So now that we're still on cake, I have one final cake question for you. Okay. Not, it's not it's not even a question because I'm after I, after I say it, I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna let you just go crazy. Okay. Give me. Actually, I'll go first and then I'll let you go. I okay. want your wildest cake theory. Whatever right, it is. Because <laughs> I, I, I know you got something. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to continue what I said on Twitter. Because to me, time is money. Right? And a slang term for money is cake. Which means time is cake. You know what I mean? So take, take, take even the phrase taking your sweet time. They were talking about cake, bro. The whole time they were talking about cake. You even realize it. You even peep it. Feel me? So, like, even if you could eat your ideas, it would be like a piece of cake. I would just leave that jewel right there for everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just leave. I'm just leave that jewel on the ground. I'm just leave it right there. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna just turn my back and walk away. Okay. So yeah, give, give it to me. Your Here's my theory, cake. right? Okay. Go on. Go on. So, go on. Go Everybody want everything to be easy, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What we call that? A piece of cake. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Everybody need that bread. Or oh, what's another word for it? Cake. They need that cake. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Everybody is like just molecules and atoms and space dust. And when you mix that all together, you make life. What do you do with cake? You gotta mix the ingredients together to make the damn mm. cake. You feel so me? We all we all just cake. Hey, the galaxy, <laughs> it's a bunch of stars and lights and sprinkles all together. It's like a fucking giant ass galactic cake, nigga. Mm. That shit is like yo, everything is is literally cake. And like you know why it's crazy is because my real theory is if everything is made up, why is everything not cake? <laughs> That's my theory. Yeah. Everything, if cool. everything is made up, then everything is cake. Mm. And they it's too deep sometimes, bro. It's, yeah, you too. Yeah. Yo. It's too deep sometimes. Yeah, leave, leave, leave the crumbs for them. Leave the crumbs for them. Oh, they fuck. Gotta pick that up. They got to pick that up. They niggas pick that niggas up. gotta follow the path. How you gonna follow the path? You don't got no crumbs. How you gonna you gonna get the crumbs from the cake? If everything Listen. is cake. Cake is gonna be the way that guides you through the right path to life, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man, it's crazy. Yeah, they they're not ready for the cake. They're not ready for the cake. Was right, they should have never <laughs> ate that motherfucking house. <laughs> that witch was right, bro. She, her house was made of cake and gingerbread and shit, nigga. She knew what was going on. Oh, exactly. Nigga. Uh, oh, gingerbread. Go, back. <laughs> go yeah, rewind. Let me rewind. rewind. I take back Eobard Thorn. It's the fucking witch from Hands on Grudge. <laughs> she makes the best cake. <laughs> These motherfuckers, she was gonna eat them. They just kept eating cake. <laughs> they knew she was gonna eat them. They, she was like, eat this cake, and they was like, damn, this shit. <laughs> I know you finna eat me, but this shit good as fuck. I'm finna eat, keep eating this shit. <laughs> <laughs> be more tasty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everything is cake, man. That's it. Every, That's my every, everything every, is cake. everything is made up, everything is cake. Mm, that's a fire slogan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna get into worthies because uh this might be our longest episode. But no, it was it, it was needed though, because we took a break. It, was, it wasn't it was our longest episode because there's like <laughs> 15 minutes of bullshit. 12 <laughs> of bullshit. But yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Well, everything is cake, so it doesn't really matter. That's, that's uh, right. All right, so my first worthy um, Instagram, his name is Chris Samney. He's an amazing artist. He does, like, I'm a fan of, like, black and white pieces, so he does a lot of black and white, um, like, art. Uh, you can find him, like I said, on Instagram. His name is Chris, C-H-R-I-S, Samney, S-A-M-E. N E E. 
Like he works, he does like work for uh, Skybound uh, Comics. Super dope. Like I said, super dope artist. Uh, my second worthy is uh, just anybody that started collecting action figures of Funko Pops. Like I see y'all. Like y'all out here. Like I like it. I like that energy. Um, my next worthy is a huge, huge, huge shout out to the entire movie club. I know a lot of them listen. Mm-hmm. Shout out to y'all. Y'all all dope. For a million different reasons. I mean, shout out to y'all. Um, and my final worthy is everybody that has been listening to the podcast and either uh, <clears throat> hit me on the side, like, yo, when are y'all putting out episodes? Like, I'm, re- I'm like re listening to everything. Like, I see the numbers still going up, even though we haven't recorded. And I think that's mad mm-hmm. dope. So, that's dope. Yeah, shout out to y'all for like either telling other people because the number's been jumping. So either you're telling people or people are finding it, whatever it is. Shout out to all of y'all for listening. That's my worthies. Okay. My first worthy goes out to uh, on Twitter, Flow349 for protecting Jennifer. And like, Ooh, yeah, yeah I've seen that. I've seen that. Shout uh, out to fucked her. Fucked up ass neighbors, like, uh, fucking with her. Yeah, black that. Man. that shit is lit. Shout out Flow for everything that he does. Um, my next one would be to spread love in YC. Uh, they are feeding people. Like, they've been doing food drives a lot. And, yeah, uh, I've seen that as well. Shout out um, Juice. Shout out uh, Lady Key and shout out Trey. They, like, nice. doing, like, a lot of work out here. To shout out to my son, Trey. Stuff. You already know. And um, another worthy would be Close Enough on HBO Max. Okay. Very big show. Uh, it's a that. regular show, but for adults. Okay, okay. It's great. It's like, but our literal, like, the regular show creators became adults, and they were like, let's do adult shit. And um, <laughs> my last worthy will be Solar Opposites on Hulu. It's like um, from the creators of Rick and Morty. It's from uh, Justin Roiland. And uh, he does most of the voices, and, you know, that classic Rick and Morty, like, just commentary on like just how the world is going and it's just it's fucking hilarious you guys need to watch those two uh shows specifically those are my uh worthies nice 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 all right so um as always this has been another issue of the mighty meta humans podcast providing you with high quality nerd commentary you know as always subscribe tell a friend leave a review we appreciate those um follow us on meta humans pod on twitter Follow us on Instagram at the Metahumans Pod. Use the hashtag Mighty Meta so we see, you know, whatever you got to access. Also, like at least that we mentioned earlier, we have a Discord. You know, definitely pop in, debate with us, ask questions, whatever you want to do, troll. I don't care. Like there'll be a link to it on the Twitter, on this episode, wherever. You know what I mean? Um, you can find me on every social media site as Toy Soldiers, which is T O Y S R D R S. And you can find me on no, well, you can find me on Twitter as underscore the Colton Show, and on Instagram, YouTube, and most other social media is just the Colton Show. All right, facts. All right, so you know, take us home. Give us one more right. quote, or the give us the quote, quote again. Is, give it to us. The final quote is: "Cake, cake, 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 cake." <laughs> Ooh, I know you like it. It's so exciting. <laughs> That's a and, 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 and who said it? Rihanna. <laughs> we, Very good quote by her about cake, about the the how everything's happening in quarantine right now. <laughs> we see y'all on the next one. <laughs>